Hi, everybody. This is Carrie Hamblin, the CEO and president of the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And it has been quite a while since we've been able to come to you. And I hope that you are safe uh, and that your business is doing well. And if you are having trouble or difficulty getting resources about COVID-19 and how that and how your business is impacted, please, please reach out to me. I'll have information at the end of the video. But what we normally would do uh, on a weekly basis before we stopped uh, having uh, office hours is that I would have a weekly video and, and have folks come in and share with you what's been happening with the Las Cruces Green Chamber of Commerce. And so just to give you a little bit of uh, background on what's been happening, I've been working from home and answering emails and answering phone calls and sitting in on uh, emergency meetings about COVID and uh, providing insight and um, feedback for our city council regarding what we can do as a community for uh, COVID and to flatten the curve. And so um, I am in the office, uh, but by appointment only. And so today I'm here in my house and um, I, since so this is something new, like all of you are trying social media, right? So today, I have Peter Abarbo, who is from the South Central Solid Waste Authority. He is fairly new in his position as the Education and Outreach Coordinator. And uh, Peter, you and I have worked together in some other capacities. And so it is so nice to have you here and like talking about reducing, reusing, and recycling and all the good stuff that you do out there at the South Central Solid Waste Authority. Well, thank you, Carrie. Absolutely. It's an honor to be here with you. And uh, it is a new day. You know, it's a new time and a new era here in not only New Mexico, but throughout the nation and the world. So uh, it looks like we'll be doing a lot of interacting via this social media platforms and video messaging and Zooms and calls. So uh, I appreciate everyone who's tuned in to, to learn about all the great things that the Green Chamber of Commerce has been doing and continues to do here for our community, but also an opportunity uh, for me to share a little bit of what we're doing here at South Central Solid Waste Authority. So thank you again, Carrie. Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, we've been working with South Central Solid Waste Authority for a long time. Um, right. We And, and you, you and I will have another conversation as we get a little bit closer toward the end of the year about the Sustainable Business Recognition Program. But today it's really just about introducing you and, and sharing with people what you do because you know during the, the shutdown when we had stay at home orders, um, there was a time where uh, the recycling station had to be closed down for safety. And yes. now it's back open, um, you know, asking people to wear masks. And I was there a couple weekends ago recycling a bunch of glass. And, um, and so tell us with, with, first and foremost, what is it that you are able to do in your capacity as the outreach and education coordinator? Because it's, it's, as you've mentioned, it's different times right now. So we are having to all kind of modify what we do. It is. Well, first and foremost, as you, as you mentioned, uh, you know, safety and, and following the COVID guidelines are, 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 are one of the things we, we continue to do. And as many, you know, our normal, you know, attire now is either have a mask or you have your, you know, as in my case, a wild rag, I just went anyway. <laughs> so we here uh, have, have resumed normal operating hours. You are correct in that when, when it first, when we first were experiencing the, the, the you know, the COVID, uh, uh, stay at home orders our our offices were were uh, reduced our, our hours and but but they have now resumed to normal operating hours uh, we're maintaining uh, all the safety you know uh, uh, guidelines with uh, wearing your mask you wear your gloves stay six feet apart but uh but we are now processing you know as as regular uh, solid waste and all the recyclables uh, for for Doñana county and the municipalities within the county so the, the challenge here now is that, you know, uh, as, as I've been hired to do education and outreach, one of my passions is, like yours, Gary, is being out with, in the community, talking to people, shaking hands, and, and visiting with, with different, you know, neighborhoods and community centers and uh, our friends from, from, from all the municipalities within our region. And so what I love doing is working it, with, in the community and helping them, uh, uh, you know, learn about what we're doing, you know, educate them on, on the proper recycling techniques or just informing them of, of, of changes that are, that are taking place in this industry. But now we're faced with a limited opportunity to do that. So now we're relying on social media. So, right. Right. so uh, again, uh, and, and, we're, and it's still kind of a trial run because it, it might actually turn out to be a little more effective as people are more engaged and, 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 Having and, and focusing on the messaging, so it's interesting to see how this is gonna how, how it's gonna play out. 
but uh, but but it is a challenge. So what we're doing is we're we're continuing to put a, a media placement and 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 our local newspapers. Uh, you know, we have our, our website up and running that has all the information. So you can you can log on uh, scswa.net to to look at our operating hours, look at you know uh, anything you need to know about about what you can recycle, uh, where you can drop stuff off. So. So we're having to change a little of how we communicate, but but we're still going to continue reaching as many folks as we can. Yeah, and we might find that it becomes the new norm. And so, you know, there's a lot of apprehension and uncertainty, and we, we recognize that and uh, are also experiencing that for many of you who might be watching this video today. Um, and so one of the things that businesses always, you know, we've got a lot of businesses uh, who are members of the Green Chamber who like to follow the triple bottom line of people, planet, and profit. Yep. So uh, they do their best to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And so right now, uh, during this time, uh, what, what can businesses do to, to benefit from your services that you offer? Well, uh, uh, actually, a lot of businesses have uh, had, had like, like, like most of folks had stopped doing a lot of the, of the recycling, but now they're starting to pick that back up. So we're, see, we're seeing a lot of our customers uh, reactivating their, their, their pickup, you know, frequency again, their routes again. And, uh, and, and actually we're starting to see an increase in recyclables uh, because there's a lot of people home now. And a lot of folks, uh, including, you know, in, in my household, are ordering hello fresh meals and hell you know we're, we're ordering all kinds of stuff from amazon and from other sources or what have you so we're seeing a lot of increase in in cardboard and, right. and plastics and uh you know a lot of us are, are also uh, consuming a lot more refreshments from sodas to wine to whatever so a lot of our glasses started to to increase and as you all know we we accept glass now so our glass recycling uh a, a drop off is 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 open and it's, it's out here on East Amador at our recycling center. And so you can drop off your glass and it is processed uh, here. Yeah, I have to tell and you, so it's, it's we, really therapeutic to yep. recycle the glass because there's something about putting the glass bottles in the correct color bins yes. and having them break. That's right. You, you've got, we've got our clear stream for clear bottles. Mm -hmm. We've got our, our amber bottles and then we all have our green bottles. So I'm sure everyone can associate their favorite beverage based on the color of your bottle that that's going in there but right. it is and Those blue also bottles, good to though, know that's, that. that's gold that's the blue bottles are hard to find and oh there's blue you're right we also have the blue a lot of uh yeah blue bottles are are rare to, to find yeah people like and, to uh, blue have and, that. yeah i was really hoping there would be a lot of color from that but when we found it when it was first started that no people are holding on to those blue bottles because it's it's a yeah. rarity to get that blue color yeah, the blue the blue bottles are are rare. So we see more the ambers, the clears, and the and the greens. Yeah. And uh, and by the way, just a quick fact, you know that if if a bottle is thrown illegally, because we're also working a lot on the illegal dumping, one bottle, one glass bottle can last up to a million years without it being dissolved or, or disintegrated. Right. So. So that's why glass is sure frankly is so like, important because it can be used for multiple things. Because as we talked about before we started recording that there are um there's a business that uses a lot of the the crushed glass for sandblasting so they're not yes. removing this this resource from our planet and we're re re reusing the glass as a to blast like particles off of like like what you see like metal and stuff like that right yeah yeah we do yeah. have yeah we do have a lot of that yeah and then also those of you who are, are watching know that you can get your glass colored um, there was a time where they didn't have a lot of glass cullet just because people weren't recycling because they were staying at home. Um, but you can always check. And if there's any information or any questions that you have about the South Central Solid Waste Authority, you can call them at 575-528-3800. Again, that's 575-528-3800. And I'll have that in the information here on this post. Um, Peter, thank you so much. I mean, you and I are going to be talking on a regular basis just because of the partnership that we have with the Sustainable Business Recognition Program um, and just, you know, making sure that businesses have contact with you so that they can go ahead and reduce their waste because we know that our members want to do that. So, um, Peter, thank you so much. I'm just going to finish up with a little bit. For those of you who are um, needing some help, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You know, getting resources, you can go to our website 
and look for the COVID-19 tab. And that has updated information about resources that you can get in terms of Paycheck Protection Program, uh, the CARES Act, what the state is doing, um, what the mandates are, um, all of that stuff. But we can also help you with your social media. And so I can't help you unless you reach out to me. So please contact me at carrie at localloscruces.com or you can call me at 575-323-1575. And that information will be posted in this video as well. As always, we are grateful for your support of the Green Chamber. We are grateful for what you do in the community. Please wear a mask, wash your hands, stay at home if you can. And if you can't, we thank you so much for working. And so have a great day, everybody. Peter, thank you so much. Uh, and we will um, thank you. We'll, we'll talk with you again. Absolutely. We'll appreciate the time. And if I could just.